Hey, was this monster really caught on camera during a recent hurricane in Miami, Florida? Or are we just looking at somebody's idea of a cheap horror flick? I've got the answer to that monstrous question, plus the answers to a whole bunch of other photos and videos sent in by you guys. Like this picture claiming to show a one-eyed cyclop fish, another picture that wants us to believe that this is a real white moose, a photo that avows to show us what has to be the tallest woman in sports, and that doesn't even include the big story this week about a picture that pretends this is an authentic lightning strike. It's gonna be an electrifying show, so don't go away. Hey guys, Bill here. You know, the natural phenomena known as lightning is something we've all witnessed at one time or another. That's because there's a lightning strike somewhere on Earth nearly 50 times a second, or almost 1.4 billion times a year. That's a lot of lightning strikes, and no wonder so many of them are caught on camera. A simple Google search on the subject reveals millions of pictures and videos. Some of them are intensely dramatic, but then there's those other ones that kind of push the boundaries of believability. Like this one showing a man floating in lightning, or this one striking the Statue of Liberty in New York. That's why I was more than a little suspicious when this picture came in. It was first submitted by Hulkboy66, who just asked, Bill, is there any way this could be real? Well, Hulkboy, they say lightning can strike twice, but in the shape of a magnolia tree? We better take a closer look at this one. The picture itself shows what looks like a dash cam photo taken from an automobile during a heavily clouded rainstorm. We can't tell what time it is. I mean, it, it could be early morning or late evening, or it, it could even be midday. We just don't know. On the surface, it looks like we're in America somewhere. We can't see the license plate on the SUV in front of us, but the split highway and the way the lines are painted in the road are pretty typical of North America. And this communications tower here? That's also pretty American in style, if you want my opinion. Now, we do have places in America where heavy storms can blacken the skies like that, in places like Texas, Oklahoma, and a few others. These areas attract storm chasers that would be recording everything as they drive through the area. But on the other hand, I think we need to take a closer look at the lightning itself. First off, look where it hits the ground. That is so massive, it would be like a nuclear bomb going off, and we just don't see any indication of that. Now, when we zoom in and move up the lightning path, things really start to fall apart. Not only are there breaks in the lightning itself, but when you count it up, there are no less than seven lightning bolts all happening at the same time to create this bizarre event. Hmm, I mean, I'm no expert on lightning, but how is that even possible? To make sure my assumptions were correct, I posted the picture on my Facebook to see what my super sleuths over there would say. And thanks to them, I now have this, which is the official answer. But if you watch this show regularly, you know not even a bolt of lightning striking directly on my back molar tooth would make me open up this before you tell me what you're thinking up there, okay? Now, when I say go, what I want you to do is yell out as loud as you can, either real or fake. Okay? Now, if you can't do that, it's okay to pause the video, go to the comment section, leave your answer there, and then come back here and play the rest of the video to see if you're right or not. A third way to go is just to vote right up here. You ready? And go. Okay, did you do it? Good, because in just a few seconds, I'm gonna be revealing a real bolt of electrical truth from right inside here. But before I do that, I just wanna go over a couple other crazy submissions sent in by you guys. First up is this crazy Cyclops fish. It was sent in by Raul Partillo, who just asked, Bill, is this thing real or fake? Raul, I can't think of any biological need of why a fish would only need to see from the top of its head, but I guess nature knows best because it's real. Thanks to this Facebook reader, as well as Jamie Wilson, we now know it's a right-eyed flounder. 
The reason it has an eye on its head is because it spends a lot of its life lying on its side, so with that eye on top, it can still see what's going on out there. All I can say is, nature, you amazing. Next, we have this photo that claims to show an albino moose. It was sent in by Lucas Sevre, who just wrote, White Moose, real or fake? Well, Lucas, you know, it's pretty easy to change the color of almost anything these days, thanks to Photoshop. So, as you might expect or not expect, depending on your vote, and you did vote, did you? Okay, good, because the answer is real. According to Facebook readers Isaac Sisson and Marinus Kramer, this picture comes from a video captured in Sweden by Hans Nilsson. As confirmed by National Geographic, the moose is not an albino, however, because its eyes are of a normal dark color. Experts are calling it piebald instead. They think we're going to be seeing a lot more of these white moose because for one reason or another, hunters do not like to shoot white moose. I know that sounds a little weird, but it's true. Our last picture today is this so-called snapshot of the world's tallest woman in sports. It was sent in by Satsuna Reji, who wrote, Bill, I just came across this. Is that basketball player for real? Well, Satsuna, that may look like a basketball court, but it's actually a volleyball court. And that woman, she may look like the tallest woman in sports, but actually, she's not. Thanks to Facebook reader Sajith Jobber, we have the original picture showing volleyball player Meg Starling from Kentucky with her friend Becca May. Meg stands six feet six inches or almost two meters. Now that's tall, but it's not quite the giant shown in the Photoshop version. No word on who took the picture. Hey, speaking of Photoshop, what do you say we get back to this and find out whether that lightning bolt in the shape of the tree of life is real or not? I mean, is that even possible? Or are we looking at some kind of maybe Photoshop contest? Hmm? I mean, personally for me, well, let's not jump to conclusions. Let's just see what the official answer says here. The photo showing a massive multi-prong bolt of lightning has been thoroughly reviewed. Based on all the evidence submitted and consultations with experts in natural physics, lightning, as well as photography, we have been able to make a determination. Yeah, both the picture and its claim are 100% real. Real? What? How is that even possible? I mean, you know, if something like that's possible, that means it could be possible that a monster was actually recorded in the middle of a hurricane. Well, I'm gonna be giving you the answer to that in just a second, but first, I gotta hear the crazy details on this lightning photo. Thanks to Facebook reader John Roger Barsanis, we now know this type of lightning is very special. It's called ground to cloud or upward moving lightning. In this type of lightning, the electrical discharge starts on the ground and discharges into the sky. Now, why this happens is way too complicated to explain here, but I will leave some information in the description box for your reading pleasure. And oh, by the way, the original picture was taken by storm chaser Mike Thies in Oklahoma. Okay, well, that's all the time I have for this video. I'm gonna be giving you the answer to that crazy monster in the hurricane video in just a second. But first, I wanna send out a big thanks to all you people who send in photos and videos every week. Also wanna send a big thanks to all my super sleuths over there on Facebook, Chewy Piranhas, and everybody else who helps me solve these little puzzles. And hey, don't forget, if you've got a picture or a video and you're not quite sure whether it's real or not, send it in to me at billschannel at gmail.com and I'll take a look. Please don't leave links or comments in the comment section because the only thing that's going to do is set a bolt of lightning right between my ears and make me go completely crazy! See you next time. Now, as far as this video goes, if anything could stir up a monster, it would probably be a hurricane. But this video, first sent in by Javier Gonzalez, Shaquille Allard, and Kenneth Solis is, say it with me, so, so fake, fake, it's, it's funny. funny! The creator and poster of this video, Hollywood Scotty, confesses it's a special effects project right in his description box. It doesn't get any more obvious than that. <laughs>